Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So it's been one year, actually one year and probably a few, you know, a few days or a month already. I'm going to do a review on what the game has been good and what the game has been bad at. Okay. Um, this is going to be my honest review on what I think personally. Again, if you have other, you know, if you have other oppositions to what I'm going to say, please put them down in the comment section because I'm open to discussing it. But take note, guys, this is just my opinion on what has happened so far. Number one on my cons is going to be Hot Toys. I'm not sure what was the consensus when they developed Hot Toys, but this is really off their concept. Uh, toys having pets or hot toys. <clears throat> it's actually um, kind of weird because um, this system, for me, doesn't really jive with the current system. Um, it's It could have been integrated well into the game aside from the hot toys concept. But again, I know it's additional, additional stats. It's um, additional effects. But they could have packaged this in a way that it could have been better. This could have been better. That, that, that is what I'm saying. Um, it's good that we get buffs from this. It good, it's good that we get effects from Hot Toys. But again, execution-wise, it could have been better. It could have been really, really related to the figures itself. Um, probably better weapons. Probably exclusive weapons. Right? Um, there... It could have been that, you know, that direction, but they went with Hot Toys. So this is my number one. I, I'm not really interested in Hot Toys at this point. Um, I'm doing it, by the way, but again, it's it's not interesting for me. It's for me. It's it's it should have been done better. Okay, so next up is going to be probably one of the things that new players are asking is. Um, new player limitations in terms of collab. As you all know, we have lots of collabs. We have had Empress. We have had Hatsune Miko to start, and uh, and Empress was the last collab. Uh, Milem together, um, also Mikoto, Isaka. We've had a lot of collabs already. Kuroko Shirai, Dead Master with with Empress. Again, these collabs, they are OP, OP figures. Most of them are being used in endgame content. If you are a beginner at this game, I'm sure the collab banners won't have a rerun. So that actually creates a cap on new players coming in although there, there there are there is a good news for new players which i'm going to you know explain later during the pros but the con is if you miss this banner uh even if you're if you're a paying player you won't get her you won't get um your or you won't get copies of empress or all the collab figures that we have so the only way that you could get copies in the future is if you got one copy and you buy shards of a specific figure. So again, that's the new player limitation that we have. So if you're a new player, you won't be able to get the previous collapse. That's it. Okay, so up next is one one of the things that I've been you know um, feedbacking in some of my videos is the repetitive content that they have it's usually repetitive especially the you know the the mining content the farming content that they have it's the same content over and over again it's the same puzzles over and over again it's probably it's still the same so again it only differs depending on the figure depending on the theme but again it's mostly the same so if if they could be more creative for their second year for global, well then good. If they're gonna be repetitive, I'm not sure. So guys, you have loyal followers here. Um, I'm talking to the developers. Please make sure that you at least 
be you know inventive enough in terms of content also here um brave the mill fort the first one was good succeeding runs were kind of you know kind of sour already um again there are limitations on repetitive content so i hope you be more uh, have more ingenuity in creating future content for this game next up is going to be this is actually very shameful. The brand exclusive rates are very shameful. So, uh, again, percentage wise, I know it's 2.2%, but it, this actually feels even lower. So, let's check out the limited rate up here for. So it's 1.2, 1.2%. Okay, Ultra is 2.3, sorry. 2.3 versus here. This is 2.2. <laughs> okay, so why does this banner feel that the rates are much lower? Probably less than 2, probably even less than 1. Um, this banner has terrible rates, I tell you. Um, and yet... The currency here that you spend is actually very hard to find. So if you guys could probably fix this banner and probably, you know, uh, be fair enough to your players, um, the currency is hard enough, then the rates here should be, you know, at least at par with the limited rate up banner. Okay, so that is one of uh, that is the fourth con that I discussed. And the last one would be in the club. This is what I'm, you know, talking. This is the last one. Playground uh, of Destiny, or I don't know. But the Playground, it's actually one of the best co-op contents that you have. But can you please develop more co-op contents in the future so that, you know, um, clubs would be, would be enticed enough to stay and to play and to interact? So again co-op content we need more okay so again just to recap with the cons <clears throat> hot toys new player limitations because of the collab banners uh, because they're op so if you don't summon summon op uh figures then you're limited in, in where you're gonna go to repetitive content brand exclusive rate up is a shame um this is what i mean and the last one would be more co-op content okay so moving on to the pros for this game so far <clears throat> this game has one of the best collector collector you know games that i've you know played with or played uh, played played period so best collector game so far um don't really it replicates basically the feeling of having the actual figure because it's 3D and they're figurines literally in the game. So for me, it's one of the best collect, uh, collector game in the market out there. So this game is really targeted for collectors and not really for gamers. For those who are, you know, want to collect these figures, then it's going to be a game that is very unique for the collecting aspect <clears throat> okay so in hindsight um if i mentioned that your brand exclusive rates are very very bad your limited rate up is actually good okay not only do you have good rates usually in pulling you also have additional rewards along the way these are milestone rewards that are usually added to your summons. As you summon more, then you get a lot of milestone achievements, like for example, additional summon currency, the figure in that specific banner, which is Yolanda for this banner, and there are a lot of opportunities to get her as you summon more. So again, this is one of the best concepts that I've seen in a gacha system. And I'm going to give them kudos for their limited rate up banner for their new characters. Okay, so also that I would like to point out is the daily grind. So the daily grind for this is very, uh, very, very acceptable. 
Um, it doesn't take a lot of your time. It's very short. It has clear tickets. Again, this is one of the games that are is, is very you know is very um, considerate with your time. And that is what I like about this game. Very, very, very um, what they call it, quick. Probably I do around fifty to fifteen to twenty minutes, or fifty to thirty minutes in gameplay per day, and. Again, I would go back to it in the afternoon if I have more free time. So, again, the daily grind, one of, I think, what I like about this game. Okay, so this year has been a good year for collabs. Definitely a lot of collabs for this year. That is why it kept the player base excited because you have a lot of collabs here. Um collab there collab here collab everywhere so as we go on we have Tsunimiko here we have Rimuru here uh, we have Ultraman here we have who else we have Milim here we have uh, Deadmaster we have Kuroko Shirai again this is the year of one of the best collabs and have given us really one of the best Okay, so my last uh, pro for this game, um, it has been proven that this game has been free to play friendly. Um, you just have to really pick the figures that you have to summon. Um, I've seen a lot of free to play accounts that you know are are similar to paid accounts. Really, uh, you just have to time all your pulls. You have to time which banner you have to skip which banner you have to what they call this you have to save on and we actually have proven that you have only have to save more or less for collabs so more or less again if you know really the trend in summoning for this game free to play players are really successful in you know in more or less trying to um you know trying to uh, be at par with uh, paid to win players but again there will still be a difference between free to play and paid to win which is going to be evident in terms of how high the level it is for pay to win players in terms of their figures As, you know those are just my thoughts for the game after one year so i'd like to hear your thoughts uh what you think of this game Again, the collector aspect of this game is actually very, very nice. Um, if they could just create these collector items in the real world, then you know they there would have a lot of collectors actually, you know, looking for these figures. They would, you know, do more revenue if they put out merchandise for all of these figures that they have created so far. So. Again, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys for staying this far. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to a, you know, better and more exciting year of figure fantasy moving forward, especially for 2023. So, thank you very much, guys. Again, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.